We're now going to have a go at some uh, more sketching. We're going to have a go at drawing some um, some lamps, as you can see here, or some kind of lamp lamp-like shapes and structures uh, in isometric. Um, we see a variety of different shapes. We're going to have a go at drawing some curves as well and some ellipses, etc. Okay, so first of all, you need a 30-60 set square and you need a pencil. Uh, you might need an eraser and make sure your pencil is sharp. Eventually, you'll use a fine liner. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is get a page. You don't, this doesn't have to be on a drawing board. And what I'm going to do with the 60 30 set square is line the 60 30 set square with the bottom of the page and just draw a line. And then I'm going to move it along and I'm going to do the same thing. Um, we're not going to use grid paper. Uh, we're going to just create some guidelines to help us. You, you may have done this before. Okay, that's fine. You might want to extend some of those lines if they don't reach the top of the page. And I'm going to turn the set square around and I'm going to do the same in the other direction. So we're basically just drawing some 30 degree lines on the page and this will help us really just to get an idea of of what 30 degrees is. My symmetry is all about those 30 degrees lines but we don't want to use a grid because we want to be able to sketch without a grid really. I'm just going to use these guidelines just to help you for now. Okay, we're just going to, we're just going to draw some crates, some basic crates and then we're going to start to add some details. So, first of all, begin with just some, you can begin with some tall, thin shapes, thin crates. So we draw our front edge, vertical line, uh, then the two vertical lines, which are the back edges, which are parallel, and then we just want to put all those lines nice and parallel with each other. Again, front edge, two 30 degree lines, I'll make this, this box a little bit bigger. Vertical lines, parallel, all parallel to each other. All the lines are running parallel with each other, crossing over my lines. I'm not trying to be accurate. This is going to be quite a, a long, quite a long crate. Again, if you make a mistake, just go over the line again. You can use an eraser if you if you want to, but try and get used to not using an eraser too much. You can try drawing any combination of lines you want, as long as the lines are parallel. Again, I'm going to draw a very thin shape like this. Using those guidelines that you've drawn, the nearest one to you. If it helps, just just run your pencil along that line. Just get a feel for that direction. You can start your front edge on where those guidelines intersect with each other if you want. If it makes it easier for you, you can use the guideline as the top edges if you want. If it makes it easier, so that's, that's fine. Um, we're going to be drawing some lamps, so we're going to do some quite tall crates, tall and thin. And we're all going to just draw some some bases now as well, like the like the base of a lamp. So imagine they'd be square, or they're about rectangular. Try and get into the habit of maybe drawing your crates in the same way each time. So you could start with a vertical line, draw your 30 degree lines out, start with the front edge, then add your vertical lines, then the top edges and then the back top edges. 
So if you kind of get into a routine of drawing the same lines in the same order each time, that might help. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave some space there because we're going to work on these shapes. I'll leave some space there to do that. Okay, we just start with some basic shapes then. So this, on this shape here, I'm just going to draw in two 30 degree lines, about halfway up that, that crate. <coughs> so that could be some kind of, of square shade. And then to make the stand, all I'm going to do is just draw vertical lines down. And they're like that, same distance from this, the front edge here. Same distance there as, the, as it is there, and that's that's all you need to do really. And that looks like it's a stand. Although that front edge looks as like looks like it's in co contact with this. Um, when we add a bit of shadow to that or a bit of shading, it will actually look three-dimensional. Uh, we need to put a bulb in there, so I'm just going to draw kind of a semicircle there, and very important draw this back line in here which makes it look like uh, an empty space uh, more like a box than a solid shape so that's very simple um, something else would be this shape which could be a lamp in itself so we don't really need to do much to that just add a bulb maybe it's quite high for the bulb but I'm put that in anyway so it looks like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw parallel lines around the object, I'm going to try and make them the same distance away from the crate that I've already drawn and then from each corner I'm then going to draw vertical lines down and then I'm going to join those up with 30 degree lines so it creates this kind of this base um, you could also do something very simple by we'll find the center of this Crate. So there's the centre, and what I'm going to do is then draw just a little way up the crate there. I'm going to draw 30 degree line, 30 degree line, and then from that centre point, I'm just going to draw in that line like that. So we get this, we get this pyramid shape on top of this block and then if you wanted to you could then um, add a make it look like it's a as a base coming out of that like this imagine there's a you could even add a little bit of detail you could add a wire coming out of there so you get the idea very quick, very easy. I'm going to draw some curves. So I'm going to draw like a kind of tree kind of shape, I suppose. So I'm going to draw a line across the centre of the top there, like this. And then I'm going to draw a curve there, in which I'm going to try and draw the same curve on this side. And then I'm going to copy this curve. Okay, so those lines run parallel to each other. And again, it's just very simple base. And if I wanted to, then um, you could then draw in a further kind of base to that as well. So all the lines parallel to each other, remember, uh, except for obviously if you're going to draw diagonal lines of the product actually has diagonal lines or curves. Uh, let's draw a hole in the top of this box. Or this so we just, all I'm going to do look, is just draw a square or rectangle on top of there and just run a line down so that makes it look like there's a hole inside very simple uh, from this structure here again if you wanted to what I'm going to do is draw I'm going to draw a crate for the base so what I'm going to do then from each line there, I'm going to draw out right a 
a shape from there. So you can actually draw or project shapes out. So all you do is just draw 30 degree lines. So you create this, what would be a square or a rectangle. If you look down at it from above, you look at it flat. But it's isometric because it's at 30 degrees. Um, you could actually add shapes onto the bottom. So, for example, I want to make this look like there's another piece coming out. So, again, I can add lines here to sketch that in. Uh, again, I can add a base if I want to. Wanted to. Very thin one this time. Okay, let's have a go at a, at a curve, or a, you know, have a go at a curve. So we'll use this as, our, as a base, and then I'm going to draw a, a crate for the shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up, and then I'm going to curve around, and then I'm going to do the same. with each of those lines and I'm just going to repeat this shape 30 degrees top there it's not entirely accurate but gives you gives you the right impression that this piece is kind of curving round. This time I'm going to draw again, I'm going to draw the base crate like this. I have a shape coming out of that. And then it's going to zigzag out. All the lines are parallel. Remember, it's just touching the edge of that block, that's fine. So I've gone up, zigzag. So you could try something like that. Um, I'm going to just finish off by we're going to have a go at a, an ellipse. elliptical base like this and then we could have that moves up again all I'm using really is this base as a guide and I'll put a bulb in there okay so really just have a go at some of these drawings some of these techniques you might want to use these drawings as a guide or you might want to make up your or you might want to make up your own drawings that's fine but the principle is the same just make sure that your lines are parallel that's the main thing look at your lines 30 degree lines diagonally this way and this way and then vertical lines as well unless obviously you're using curves that's fine so you sit there with a sheet that looks something like this